I wanted to show the encoder mount that I made. Uh, this is a 2000 pulse per revolution differential encoder. Um, I've used optical encoders before, um, but Centroid needs to have uh, a, a, a signal where the quadrature pulses have an inverted pulse. And I guess this eliminates line noise. Um, so I bought this com this this uh, encoder on eBay. It's a um, Automation Direct. I don't know what the part number is. Um, but I made this little block here, and I reused the original uh, mount holes. I forget exactly what this had th th this was mounted for, but essentially the way that this works is um, it's constrained here in this dimension. And there's a slot so you can slide it up and down and as you slide it up and down it's kind of eccentric to the ear meshing um, and so as you slide it up you disengage the gear and as you slide it down you can you can engage the gear so you can see I've got a little bit of um, play in there which you know is good for for the gear wear and um, I've attached it uh, there's a bearing mounted uh, there's a bearing mounted back in here to carry some of the load and then there's a there's an eight millimeter shaft that runs through this has got a little um, it's got a, a D ground in it a flat ground in it for a D slot so this is made with the D slot and then um, obviously this is um, you know the uh, the set screws will work with that D slot so I'll just fire it up real quick. I haven't tested it with the controller yet. This is the first time I've mounted it. Um, this is running backwards. But if I bring it up to speed... That's not too bad. I mean, the... The, the wheel wobbles... Um, this has got some wobble to it. It's just a... It's just a because the 3D printers just really can't produce good dimensionally accurate parts, or I can't seem to figure out how to do it. Um, but this isn't moving, which is really good. So there's just an, M3, an M3 screw here to this piece of copper uh, that I turned down to 22 millimeters to create a standoff. You can make a standoff out of whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll post the, the mating gear. It's got to be a one-to-one -to, -one to the original gear. Um, so I'll post this, I'll post the block, and then I'll post this guy, which is essentially uh, mates up to the uh, the encoder. That'll be probably specific to the encoder, although the other encoders that I have seem to have a, a very similar um, screw layout, so it might work for other encoders. Anyway, thanks for watching.